Hello, and welcome to Google Sheets. <laughs> I thought about playing Brighter Shores today, but then I thought, how about some data analysis instead? So today we're going to be looking at XP scaling in Brighter Shores, uh, how much XP it takes to get to each level. Uh, I was trying to decide how to best allocate my knowledge points, and I ended up just making a spreadsheet to help with that. Uh, so I, I feel like this was pretty helpful for me, so hopefully it'll be helpful for you as well. Um, so first, I want to mention uh, most people that are playing, I think, probably know RuneScape. Uh, and so for reference, uh, RuneScape has about a 10% increase of XP required per level. Um, so that means about every seven levels, it, the amount of XP you need doubles. I think at level 50, you need around 100,000. And then level 57, you need around 200,000, right? Um, and that's a pretty well-known thing. You know, 90, 92 is half of 99 <laughs> because it's, uh, it's half the way there uh, for the uh, total XP you need. Uh, for um, comparison, Brighter Shores is uh, much... It's the XP uh, per level scales a lot less than RuneScape does. So for the first 20 levels, it scales about 3%, about a 3% increase per level. So if you notice, uh, I have all the, the levels listed here, the total XP required at that level, and then the amount of XP required to level up. Uh, so that's at level zero, you need 500. At level one, you need 515. Right, you can see all that. Uh, it's a it's a three percent increase every single time. Um, once you get past level twenty, it's only a two percent increase every single time, which is incredibly low. Um, and then I also mark these just to take note. There's these bumps at level six, level twelve, and level twenty. Uh, at level six, it doubles. At level twelve, it doubles again, and then at level twenty, it uh, quintuples <laughs> so it's five times as much um, to level up once you get to level 20 as it is at level 19 so it, I, I mean I think most people in the game have noticed there's a pretty pretty noticeable increase once you hit level 20 but that is that's definitely the case other than those bumps it's very consistently 3% increase before level 20 and a 2% increase after level 20 I think we've confirmed this up until somewhere like right about here, level 126. Um, and so I there there may be XP bumps past that as well. I don't really know. This is this uh, set's kind of assuming that there's not, but that obviously uh, may not be true. Um, so let's let's see. So the reason this is interesting is because if you also look at the XP scaling for skilling actions. Um, which I have written down here, uh, carpentry, uh, just as one of the examples. Um, but if you notice, uh, level two, you get the coarse oak log, which gives you 119 XP. Level four, you get the coarse pine log. Uh, and the XP is from, like, cutting it into, uh, posts and then grinding them up, whatever the two actions you have to do are, right? So you obviously get more and more XP for each action. The interesting thing to note is that this scales about as fast as the XP from leveling does. Um, and this goes on for as far as I could see, which is the rugged poplar log at level 43. Um, each, each, each time you unlock a new action, it takes somewhere between 85 and 90 uh, actions with that, new, with that new unlock to level up. So that means, um, which again, below the below the bumps here, this is kind of scaled down. So the actual actions per level, if you're um, grinding up the coarse oak logs, is four and a half. Four and a half logs will level you up. Four and a half coarse pine logs will level you up. And that's um, if if you account for the the uh, the bump in XP, it it comes out to about the same thing here, same thing down here, uh, which means. Realistically, it takes about the same amount of time to level up consistently. As long as you're using the latest skilling methods, uh, 
the times this would be most noticeable that it's not the exactly the same is right before you get a new unlock. So if you're sitting at level 42, right, you're set, you're stuck with this old training method. Uh, it's going to take you 108 actions to level up as opposed to 86, right? And then you hit the new one and it bumps back down again. But again, it's it is interesting to note because that means um, you should really expect each level to take close to the same amount of time all the way from level 20 all the way to 500 uh, as long as there's not another XP bump in there which again there there very well could be um, but until you hit that bump every level should be taking close to the same amount of time to get up so it's not again the main mainly because this is it's not like runescape where um, you know you're sitting there leveling up and then each time it takes 10% longer, 10% longer, and then even when you unlock a new skilling method, it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't come close to uh, making up that difference. Uh, yeah, so those, in conjunction with the fact that knowledge points always give you a fourth of a level, uh, so meaning, we'll take this uh, nice round number here, for example, if, you're, if you have a skill at level 26 and it takes 20,000 XP to level up, it'll give you 5,000 XP. And that that uh, quarter of a level is consistent no matter what the level is. But the fact that each level takes about the same amount of time to level up means the knowledge point is always going to be um, the same level of efficient for that skill. So if you're if you're debating whether or not you should put it into a skill, um, the level that that skill is doesn't really matter because it's it's always it's always the same level of effective for the skill. Uh, so conclusion, <laughs> um, what to take away from this? Uh, I would recommend what I will be doing is putting your knowledge points onto skills that you don't want to train like that that should be really your top factor you're deciding like i don't really i don't want to take the time to train the skill i don't like it you know i don't like fishing because you, you sit there and you click it and you go sell it like it's not my favorite thing to do it's a little bit intensive i don't like it so i don't want to train it i'm gonna i'm gonna spend my points putting it that especially because i want to get level 25 for that skill right so i'm gonna do i'm gonna do fishing and get fishing up and put 20 knowledge points into it to get it from 20 to 25 right if you don't really care like if, if that's not a big thing or if there's multiple skills you know like I, there's five different skills i don't want to train the thing you then want to be taking into account uh again is not the level that those skills are at because even if if you have like a level 20 versus a level 50 skill you're going to get the knowledge point giving you uh, 4,000 some XP versus, uh, you know, down here at level 50, it's going to be giving you 8,000 XP. Um, it, the fact that it's giving you a noticeably more flat XP is not relevant again, because of the fact that at higher levels you get higher XP rates and those all seem to kind of match up, uh, you know, balance out. So the things you should be taking into consideration, if you have, if you don't care which skill you're spending it on, if there's not particular ones you don't want to train, um, which skills are going to make you or lose you money? Um, notably, you know, if you're training something like alchemy and you have to spend a bunch of money on skills, uh, you have to spend a bunch of money buying the ingredients to go train it, um, you're going to lose quite a bit of money. So maybe that's something you take into account. I would rather, you know, do the skill that's going to make me money and then spend the points on the skills that are going to lose me money. Right, that's a consideration. Um, if you're concerned with how AFK the skills are, again, that's kind of the same two sk uh, same skills, but opposite. If you're looking at alchemy and fishing, right, alchemy is a lot more AFK than fishing is. So maybe you want to put the points into fishing because fishing is not very AFK, but alchemy is. So you'll you're going to spend your time doing the more AFK skill. Uh, maybe you want to. Maybe you don't have access to the latest training methods. Um, so notably, this is going to be a real fun video to watch. I'm <laughs> just looking at the spreadsheet here. I feel like I should move over to a game. Um, but the, uh, 
you know, if you're if you're trying to do carpentry and for whatever reason you don't have access to the latest skilling methods, this would be a problem. Um, for the foreseeable future, I don't see this as a problem because you can buy whatever logs, but I think this is mostly an issue probably in combat. Like if you don't have good enough equipment to be able to fight higher level stuff and you're fighting lower stuff, maybe it makes more sense to put it on that because it's going to be more difficult to train that skill. Um, if you're about to hit a break point, right? Where you're like I really I'm training this and it's really annoying that I'm I've been <laughs> I've been processing hickory logs for the past 13 levels, 12 levels, and I'm going to I'm just going to use some points on it to bump it up to this so that my time is more efficient with that. That's something to consider. And then the last one is really if you're just trying to min max trying to be most efficient with your time and everything, um, then you probably want to take into account the time it takes to level skills. Meaning, um, like there's a few skills in the mines, the processing skills that feel very slow. Like the XP feels like it's very slow. And so maybe you then want to prioritize those things, um, you know, because it's a, uh, Again, if you don't care whether or not it's AFK, if you don't really care about whether or not it's making you money, you just want to get there as fast as possible, then you probably do want to be boosting up the skills that are going to be slower to train, realistically. Uh, but yeah, that's about all that I have. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know if there's any disagreements you have with my thoughts or any other things that you um, have to add on to this, uh, and let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see, uh, videos about for brighter shores. Thanks.